Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom. I'm Rob. And today we are doing rear brakes and everything included. Yep, handbrake. Handbrake, handbrake cables, calipers, and discs. I see we've gone for the snazzy drilled and groove. We have indeed. For that extra cooling and getting rid of all that dirty brake dust. So, yep. plus they look wicked. Isn't wicked. It? <laughs> now, the calipers we've cheated and we bought brand new because the cost of a rebuild kit was probably only 20 or 30 pounds away from buying two brand new 10, calipers. 10 pounds per caliper, so 20 quid. So yeah, 20 quid in total, but it's they, brand come, new. they come with a two year guarantee, they're brand new and they are renowned for breaking, so. And the seals, I've heard, when you rebuild them, the seals don't always seat right, so then. You, you could rebuild them again. Yeah. But well, it depends, it, like everything with this, if you wanna go all out, you might, your original ones might be good, ours were, all right. Uh, no, they were absolutely seized on the sliders that go oh, there. So. I couldn't get Yeah, but they were all right. The, the pistol yeah, was okay, yeah. but it is what it is. So we've also opted for two new handbrake cables, which were at a cost of? Uh, £25 each. And so, that's blueprints, so it's a pretty good make. Yeah, it's 50 sort of quid like for the pair. So it is a little bit more expensive, but we're building a new car. So you don't want a sticky handbrake. You don't exactly. Want, and if, I mean, if your cables are perfect, then yeah, use them. If they're not... 50 quid. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. You've already spent a few grand, so... Yeah makes it easier so today sh again as we always say should be easy uh, i think you spoke too soon oh i know but it's, it's a new car yeah but and everything is in exactly the right place isn't it so well you'd like to think <laughs> but we will see we'll find we out we shall see let's get into it okay so this we, we've picked this part first because this is by far going to be the easiest of the parts i reckon yeah so well, that was easy. Yeah, that was easy. The disc is yeah. on. Now we put the carrier on, which bolts to. Is it? Other way around. Like. There we go. There's only four options. <laughs> and I'm still wrong. <laughs> oh, there we go. Like that. As easy as that, eh, Rob? Ooh. So once you've got the carrier on, then that allows you to put the caliper on. The carrier sits awfully close to the disc, but that is normal, so don't be afraid. I'm guessing there are 13 mil. Well, it's Japanese, so it might oh, be 14. 14, yeah. See, if you're used to TTs and VAGs and, well, anything other than a Japanese car, everything is 10s and 13s. That's why you don't have a 10mm in your... That's why no one has a 10mm socket in their possession. Um, and on Japs, it always seems to be 11 and 14, which is weird because they're the two sockets you would never use on anything else ever. So we'll go with a 13. No. We'll go course. with a 14. Yeah. Ah, so. And of course, these have a torque setting, which we will put on the screen if I can find it and remember how to. And we don't just do it really tight. Now, there will be a torque setting for the brakes. It's probably actually in the manual. Yeah, it probably is. So we will check and torque up afterwards once we've completed the job. So that's on, that's the carrier on. So then that allows the disc to spin without touching it, uh, which is fine. So next yep. we can put the- Caliper on. Caliper on. So we need to get now, some- Now these are handed and they do say right and left. They've got an R and an L, so- We need to put some grease on them though. As long as you know which is right and left, you'll be all right. So we need to get some grease on the slider pins. Oh, there's grease already in there. Yeah? Yep, it's already got grease on. And then this one needs to actually bolt into the bottom, I think. Ooh. Yeah, seeing as I didn't take these apart, I don't actually know how they go together, which is always a benefit. And it was a while since I looked at it, so. Yes. Are we saying this slider pin? Yeah, so that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one it will need some greasy grease and a boot. Yep, I've got a rubber boot. boot. Give me a boot. Which is one of these ones. Sure. So I need an Allen key for this. Oh, I love getting greasy boots on. Right, so the boot's over there. And then what we'll do, it's probably better right? actually That's to, yeah, that is right. We'll take the boot off. So that slides in, into the gap yeah, there. I've got bolt oh. it on. Has it got grease on it? No. Oh, okay. I'll put some on it. We'll slide some into this. Let me get the right size so socket for this. Oh. So put a bit of grease in the hole. And then what we'll do is we'll slide the, the pin in, give it out, get the grease all over it, make sure it's all good, then we'll stick the boot on. Funny way of doing it, isn't it? That looks right, that I guess. 
We could always look at the, the other side because we did that one at the start, so at least I would remember roughly how it went. <laughs> There we go, lovely jubbly. Right, so, bit of grease. Passes the boot. So the boot now needs to go over this one. Has a has a, a line where it sits. I've got grease already in the hole. I give, oh, it a, okay. I give it a gun. So what I'll do is we'll do this. Slide a bit on the old, uh, stick a bit of grease on the old shaft. There's some in the bottom of this, so rub it all over. He's done this before. Don't be shy. Yep. Abby? Yep. And then this should go on there like that. And then we've got to try and get the boot on, which is the fun part now because... It's so slippery. Well, and it's not that big, so you have to kind of... Oh, not that big. You have to kind of persuade it on. There we go. Look at that, look. Anyone who think I've done that before? So... Now, we do 180 degrees. And that'll sit on there. Now, we need to put some pads in. Yep. Before we get too carried away. Don't get too excited with it. What pads have we got? We've got some Mintex. Oh, lovely jubbly. We've got the little... Uh, oh, these are 1144s? Yep. Oh, yeah. So these are... Really soft. Really soft and really bitey. So they're really good um, for things like track days, fast road. And um, they're kind of your cheaper version of the DS2500s or the yellow red stuffs, that kind of stuff. Well, Which side did it go on, Rob? Can you remember? Nope. We'll have a look at this side that I prepared earlier. Here's one that Rob prepared before he forgot. Uh, Where's the bracket going? It's probably going on the other side. I think it goes on Jimmy? the inside. So it's your squealer, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so it needs to go to touch the disc. How can that touch? Well, it can't touch the disc, it's facing the wrong way. What does it touch then? I don't know. What have you done on the other side? I don't know. Okay. This is a prime example oh, okay. of not yes. remembering so what I've, you're doing so what we've done, when you're doing it. I've left it on the inside, facing out, because then when you wear it, there it, we it go. touches it's, this bit. It squeals, you get that horrible noise. Now, before you put them on, Rob, yeah. what do you need to put on the dog ears of the... Uh... We need a little bit. No, no, you can put them on, then you put the grease on them. A bit of pad goo. A bit, a bit of goo, because you don't want squealy that brakes. That might not stick. Yeah, I will hold it. So we've got pad goo, which I've already squeezed out onto the wrong side. Right, so rub that on. Try not to touch this onto the discs, but you want to put it on all mating faces. Oh, I like that. Mating, mating faces. faces. Yeah. Anything that's going to touch metal on metal, because otherwise you will get a horrific noise. Uh, you want to put a little bit on the pads and a little bit on the pads where it touches the piston or the caliper, because again, no one likes squealy brakes. The worst thing is it sounds really lovely. Wom, 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 wom. <laughs> As you come to a stop and everyone looks at you because you're squealing. Hopefully, it will draw some attention to you and then it'll be turboed and you can whoosh, 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 uh, off on the way, but not so much. But yeah, when doing any kind of brakes, any mating faces, always put a little bit of gear, just not on the disc or the pad itself. But we do have brake cleaner. But we do have brake cleaner, if you do get it. If there. I get a bit excited and put too much on. Yeah, so. Right, come on, I'll hold it in. All right. Oh, it's nearly lunchtime. I'm feeling the... Feeling the lunch. You got it? I can't see that side. These look fun. I know these were absolutely horrific. The other side. He says as we're filming. What, well, as in they're like too small? As in I nearly lost the plot to live. <laughs> it can't be that bad. <coughs> and when you're on your own, it was a little faff. Shall we say? Yeah. Oh, dream. Oh, look at how you got in. Easy no, right. this side's missing. What? This side you're not in. You're on. What a, do you mean? You're on the wonk. I didn't put that side in. You did. Oh, I didn't put it in. Can you hold no. this one, kid? Yep. I'll try and. I need maybe a screwdriver just to. Push... Oh, you mean down? Okay. Yeah, just push that down. Push that little tab down. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to do the top one now. Oh, you got the top one in? No. Oh, that cool. Cool. You got it? Let me come back a bit. 
Is it on? on? Check them. Happy? Yep. Right, so, so as easy as that. Now, ah, oh, mating we, faces. Yes, we need good. Mating faces. You need to rub, rub a tiny bit on the inside of there. On this, these are these fingers here, because that's what touches the face of the pad. And then you want to rub some in the middle of the pad where the piston's going to touch it. So if I hold it there, rub some around the center of that where it says Mintex. Oh, look at that. Yep, lovely. And then, then do, do we need anywhere else? No, is that it? Next, you've already greased up this there. Yep. And then it should all fit nicely, which it does. And then you just wind that bad boy in did and this, we're done. Did this have grease on it? Yeah, we yeah I pushed it out and had grease in. Oh, okay, cool. So what size do we reckon that is? Um, mind your fingers. 10, 11. You got an 11 out, didn't you? No. No, I got 12. I shall grab or one. Or 13 and a 14. It's a 10. Well, ah, lovely. 10 works anyway. Nonetheless. So there is two other little springy clips we've got to put in. Yep. And that's to stop what? I don't know. They just Just look because good. you do. Yeah. They look good. They look good. <laughs> Real technical time here. Then this, does this have a cap that goes over it once it's done? Yes, it does. This little cap that I've just chucked away. Right, so. Now we move on into the car. So we've got the caliper on with the pads in, everything ready to go, ready to take a handbrake cable. We need a handbrake. We do. So this is the Mazda MX-5 handbrake removed from the Mazda that we'd had. Um, we've taken some bits off. You follow the manual, you have to do some stuff with the brake switch and, and uh, take the spring off of the handbrake thing. So this is just three bolts. Um, do you want me to come around and hold it? Might make sense. So. Make sure they all line up first. Here's a good start. Yep, oh, we'll look at that. Look, we're flying. We have this job done in 10 minutes. These are obviously all supplied in a kit. Eight mil uh, domed head. Allen key with a Job easy, yeah. little nylock and some washers. So we get them on and then you have to feed the handbrake cables from the rear forwards yep. and then they go into that. And they overlap, don't they? So left yeah, to so, right and yeah. right to left. When they come out, they go the wrong way. That's to take up the slack in the cable because they're quite long. You see on an MX-5, they're a bit longer. Of course, we have no power tools. I don't know what's noisier, power tools or that. <laughs> Probably me tinging around. Yeah. I can start talking you through the next bit. So we've got, uh, this holds and sort of modulates the, the braking between the two because sometimes one is longer than the other. Could be better, worse, whatever cable stretch, etc. So that will go there. Um, I'll go and grab the rear, to get these cables out. They're both the same, right? I have put right and left, but that's only, well, well, on the other one. I was going to say, you've written right on one. So is that right hand side at the back or the front? It's right side. Yeah, what, driver's side? So it'll be you're the looking, right side of. You're looking forward or backwards? I think I need an extension. Probably. Okay. So this is quite simplistic, this. So this. Uh, this is the end that we're going to be poking through the tube. This is the end that goes into the caliper because it has a nut there so you can actually um, put it down into the bit which then pulls it. We'll show you in a minute. Once I've got this bolted up. <clears throat> so this is going to go through the left tube, like so. And then come to the right. get it mocked up so we can see what we need to do. What do we do with this bracket? Do we know? Comes off. Oh, okay, we just spread it off and... Yeah. Lovely. Did I not do that one already? I must have done the other one. Yeah, so he said he prepped it, but he lied. He what lied. can you do? We're not all perfect. Right, so <clears throat> let's jump to the old GoPro -ula. Okay, so this is where the handbrake cable is going to go. Now the T-bar bit sits 
inside there, and then that comes up, and then you just nut this up. And what size do we reckon that is? That, I reckon that one is probably actually a 13, which I don't have out. Um, so that cable sits there. That just tightens up to take up the slack, and then when you pull the handbrake, that will naturally actuate that, which will then pull your cable tight, nice and simple. Let's see if he's right with 13 mil. No, of course it's a 14. 14. Looks like a 13, but it's not. Um, and then the cable will go up and through into the tube here. Now, this is what we need to take off because this is used for a Mazda, not for a kit car. Um, and also routing in the manual, it states to go through, you undo the, the bottom one, is the one that turns. Oh, okay. Yeah. She in? Oh yeah, perfect. Nice and tight. So that's down into there. Show you from this side. So that's down in there, goes up to here, bolts in, and then we go this way and into the car. Now, do we need to feed it behind there? I think we might. You reckon? That's what it says in the manual. Yeah. I think once you've taken that off, it will probably okay. sit nicer. Let's try taking that off. Will I be able to do it with my fingers? I would say two screwdrivers or a pair of grips and a screwdriver, maybe. Yep. So you just want to spread this wide enough apart. Okay, now he's done this before. Perfect. So now it's removed. Now I'm. We reckon we'll try it. For, we'll try it like the manual says through there. Yeah, but you can't come, come up here. Cause that's... Go on. Take it. Take. Take it. We'll try it. Worst case, we pull it out. So then you're gonna have that rubbing against the tank. Yeah, we could put a bit oh, of rubber suppose. over that, couldn't we? Yeah, that's not. There's nothing stopping us putting a bit of something on it. No, we could put some rubber on that. That's not too bad. It's nice and, and it fixed. Fits. Let's show them in where it fits nice. So that fits nice and straight there. It is on. Um, okay, let's we'll throw the other one in. That's one done. One done. We might. We 50%. might. We might have this job done before lunch. Hopefully. What are we doing after lunch? Oh, I know what we're gonna be doing. I don't. I don't, like don't want to say that. it out loud, but I know what we've got to do. Right, so this one, I just want to just want you all to admire my mighty Picasso, which is a, a horrific car, but is the best on fuel for driving to all the million places that I need to get to like this. Um, so again, tuck it in, and then hopefully he's undone it wide enough. Yep, and then that will spin. Just take the slack out first, then we'll do it up tight. This is turning into one of the better jobs. Yeah. So if, you're, if this is on your list of things to do and you're not looking forward to it, it's absolutely fine. Um, and already, look, I've already prepared it earlier. Here's one he prepared earlier. So this we're saying, is it the same? Yeah. I don't think it'll go through there though, obviously, because it won't go that far, but it'll go under there. Under there. And then into the wrong hole. Into the wrong hole. Pops out my side. Look at that. And there we go. So technically speaking, all we need to do now is get that into there. Now, the only issue we might have is it might not be long enough and we might need to back it off. On oh, the... no, it should be. We might need to back off the adjuster on the handbrake. Okay. Um, there might need to be, there might not be enough slack on it. We shall see. All right. You'll hold the GoPro and I'll have a go at this? Yeah, go on, have a go at this. So one side's always easy. Uh. He says. He says. Cool. Is it worth taking it off of the handbrake is it, how easy to come off? It's uh, just around this side. I think there's a, a threaded bar that is a... Within, oh. yeah? Oh, man. Is it or is it not? Got grease all over the driveway. <laughs> it is, let me get a big flat head. And just on here, it undoes. And then you can plonk that out the bottom in a minute. Quite a lot of adjustment on that. That'll do you. Oh, is that off? Yeah, that's off. Okay, so you want... So back. that might make life easier. Yeah, that would definitely make life easier because what you want to do with these is you need to put them in straight like that. Oh, not all the way through. Straight, you put them in through the gap and then you turn it. And then the other one, it's always fun. One's, like I said, one's always easier than the other. Um, how are we going to do this?
This is uh, fiddly. Maybe we should have gone in there first. But they're both equally the same diagonal, yeah. so it's not it's not the easiest thing to do on either of them. Um, we can't really win with this, can we? If you do one side, it's going to the other side's going to be a pain in the ass. Unless we get no, because yeah, it needs to go like that, and then right round, right round, which I can't get any more on that. Okay. Unless we, unless we, will that, can you do, push it through the middle and then, you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Like. Oh, okay. Probably not. No. If, if we loosen it off the handbrake end at the caliper. Yeah. And then. Will that give us a bit more probably. cable? Probably. Try okay. it. So if you hold the GoPro. That's that side you want to go to, yeah? What side? The side where you are now. Yep. Or try and squeeze it. Give me some squeeze. Can you squeeze it? Oh, yeah. That's, I needed a squeeze. Right, we'll try and put the GoPro somewhere. Has that given you enough? I don't know. Find out in a minute. I need to what did it give you, about an inch? I need to squeeze the other one to give me a bit more play. Oof. Yes. Of course, they're really stiff. Well, they are new. I think they're going to be stiff anyway. They'll be great for some doing some uh, handies. Right, or, squeeze it a bit or, more. You squeeze it some more. Yep. Some more. Oh, you can pull it a bit more there. A bit of auto cross or something. Where uh, we need to use. I'm so close. Yet so far. There we go. Give myself a little bit my side. So if you've got four arms, you can uh, do it all yourself. Do both both sides. Definitely a one man job. And are we in? I went a bit too far. <laughs> Just needs a leveling up. A little bit of straightening. Squeeze. Squeeze your side again. A little bit more, a little bit more slack. Yep. How is it tipped on me? It's just tipped outside the hole. I need a pair of grips just to level it up. Uh, John, long nose. Uh, yeah, you got them. We did have some out. Where'd you put them? I don't know. Oh, over here. Just my fingers aren't quite strong enough to do what I want to do. It's just it. Ever so slightly. Ah, of course it has. What's that? It's just dropped below the... Oh, the actual... Yeah, the actual brake thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. That sounded... Uh... Satisfying. So there you have it. Finally completed, and there we go. So that is there, ready to go. Now all we need to do is feed Rob's thingy back up into there. Will it go? Do you want me to give you some on the handbrakes, or are you right? Yeah, be all right. And then you just do it up. Is that enough? Is it buying? Yep. All right. So do a little bit and then see how many how many clicks you got. Way too many. About thirty. <laughs> how many clicks do we want? Not that many. Try that. We get in there. Might go on them. Oh yeah. Slowly get in there. Ah, oh, that'll do for now, I think, Rob. Give we can always fine tune it when the wheels are on and Ah, oh, perfect. So there we go. Go on, give it give us a little in and out, go on. Oh yeah, look at that, look. Ah, oh, perfection. Go on one more. Ah oh, yeah. Lovely. Happy with that? Yeah. And they are locked on. I can't turn it. Now. What more could you want? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Right. Look at that. Guys, we actually completed one in, in one day and one take. It's been a pleasure. 
Until the next one. Bye for now.